happy Tuesday, everyone. I hope that you are having an incredible day, an incredible start to your week. It is the second to last day of March. Spring is in full swing, and the first quarter of the year is already over. Can you believe it? Like, time flies. Like, seriously, time flies. First quarter of the year is almost over. The world is changing. Seasons are changing. Are you changing? Are you transforming? And what does that even look like? So I wanted to go live today to talk about transformation and like, what does that even look like? Like I have people ask me from time to time, like, well, how does coaching change you? How will I change from doing coaching? How will my daughter change from doing coaching? Like, how will this change us? You know, we've done therapy before and, you know, nothing really happened. We got meds or whatever, but nothing really happened. Like, how does coaching change you? Like, what, you know, what change can you expect? So let me just, I just wanted to share something. Because <laughs> I was talking to my coach a little bit earlier today. And she was like, you need to make a live about this. Because this is really, like, people need to understand the concrete changes, Right. So I'm going to tell you a little story. Um, earlier, just a couple of days ago, you might have seen, um, I, I bought a new car, bought a new Kia K5, and I posted that on my stories, and I posted it on my Facebook um, yesterday. And I got the car on Saturday, and it was late Saturday. And when, when the deal, everybody knows when you go to a car, to the car dealership, you're not going to buy a car and be in and out of there in an hour. And even though I spent 18 years in the car business, I still had to, you know, like, it still takes a time, right? So I was at the dealership till probably 8.30, came home. My, my boyfriend decided to drive, so we left my new car in the garage. So I literally, the car had like 10 miles on it when I got it. I literally drove the car to church and to Food Lion to get groceries on the way home from church and home. And that's it, right? I backed it into the garage parked it. My boyfriend's like, Hey, I'm going to wash your car for me for you because it was raining. And so he's like, I don't want to put your brand new car away dirty. So I was like, okay, sweetie, that's amazing. Right. He's so sweet. Wants to wash my brand new car. Very, very excited. So he calls me out there. He's like, Hey, I, can't, I need to come see something. And I'm like, okay, what babe? He's like, there's a scratch on your bumper. I was like, what? He's like, did you bump into anything? I was like, no, babe. I was like, the car was in the garage and then we drove it, you know, at church I parked, there was no, no cars parked in front of me, like where I was parked, there couldn't be anyone parked in front of me, but there was someone parked in front of me at the grocery store when I went there. So apparently <laughs> in the, um, roughly 30 miles that I had the car to drive to the, the dealer, I mean, to the church and back to the grocery store on the way home, somebody scratched my bumper, right? So you're like, how does this, you know, lead to transformation. Well, let me just tell you, I was just like, oh, okay. Well, at least it's on the crease. We can get some touch-up paint and fix it, or maybe I can take it to the dealer and they can have their guy who does touch-up on the used cars fix it. Like, it's all right. At least it's not a big one. Like, it's totally cool. And my boyfriend's like, but babe, you just have the, you don't even have a hundred miles on it. I was like, yeah, but there's nothing I can do about it, right? Like, I don't know who did it. And you know, it's luckily it's small and it's just a tiny little line and, you know, it can be fixed, right? Like I had no emotional reaction to it whatsoever. Contrast this <laughs> to my last brand new Kia, which I bought in 2018, about a month after I bought it, I was getting gas and some old lady like literally backed into my car, right? Like backed right into it, backed into the bumper and I was livid. Let's just say she's lucky she was old because I might have killed her with my bare hands in the grocery store parking lot. I, after that, after I even like left her, got her information to make sure she could pay for the damage that she did. Like I was beating myself up on the way home for not picking a different pump to get gas at and putting myself in a situation where this old lady could back into my car. Like I literally beat myself up for like a day about it. 
like berated myself for being so stupid and careless and parking someplace that somebody could possibly back into me. Like I literally abused myself over this incident. And in that case, my boyfriend was able to buff it out. Like it ended up being okay. I still beat myself all the hell for where I parked. I, you know, it was like almost choked out an old lady. And this was like, you know, right after I got my new car in 2018, but I get a, and, and it was, I had it a month. This one I bought on Saturday and had it at not even 24 hours. And it got a scratch on it that my boyfriend can't just buff out that I actually have to go to the dealership. I'm actually going to go on Thursday and they're going to have their guy touch up guy, fix it. Um, and I had really like no reaction to it. I was just like, Oh wow. It's a bummer. I'm gonna have to get that fixed. Well, at least it's small, you know, it won't be expensive and you know, we'll just probably won't cost more than 20 bucks to get, get something done for it. Like it's totally fine. Like no reaction whatsoever like night and day, like I'm like not even the same person. Like things do not shake me. They do not freak me out. They do not cause me to like want to go into a murderous rage. I've never murdered anyone, but I've like had murder thoughts. Like I just have so much of a peace and calm to be able to handle anything that comes up in life without freaking out that I never had before. I was like Little Miss, very short fuse, right? Like I was known for having a short fuse, like known for having a short fuse. Like once I, you know, I, when I was young, I wanted to be a police officer at one point and my parents were like, oh no, that's not a good idea. Like you'll kill people and you'll get fired and go to jail because like you'll just want to kill every criminal. And so the fact that I am now in a place after doing extensive, co after ha being coached for, you know, I started my coach, I started getting coached probably last year. So in a year's time, I have gone from somebody who, you know, things that, <laughs> things like your car getting hit or, you know, other inconveniences, things that happen in life, like literally set me off into a rage. And now I just, calmly handle it and look at the situation like really at the gravity that it is like a small scratch on your car is not like your loved one dying like I literally just look at it like okay this is something that can be fixed it's going to take a little bit of my time and a little bit of money but I'm okay with it right like that is transformation that is what coaching life coaching offers to for people. That is what I offer the ability to go from that place to that place is what I offer to the moms and the teens and the families that I work with. That's the type of transformation I provide for them is what I provided or I had provided for myself by, you know, spending the time and investing myself in being coached. It's completely different from, you know, in the past I did therapy for years and still was somebody who would just fly into a murderous, in their brain, murderous rage. And now I'm someone that is largely unshakable by what life throws at me. That is what coaching offers. That is the transformation that I provide for my clients. It's the same transformation that I've gotten from being coached and investing in coaching for myself. So that's what transformation looks like. That is, that is the epitome of transformation. When you can change from somebody who just things just spin you out of control mentally, just bother you, just eat at you, you know, any things that just don't go your way in life to Whatever happens in life, you can remain largely calm and look at the situation for what it is without making it mean a whole bunch of things that it really doesn't mean. And because it's making it mean all these other things is the stuff that freaks you out, right?
That's the stuff that sends, sends you out into that murderous rage. And so when you can just take things in life as they are, it brings so much peace. It's, it's like you're not even the same person, but in a good way, right? In a good way. You're more patient. You're more loving. You're actually able to love and to have intimacy whether that be physical intimacy with a partner or intimacy with like being able to really share your heart with a, a loved one, a friend, a, a, you know, a child. It, having that is what this gives you, right? The ability to not be shaken by the things of life allows you to build that intimacy and to open yourself up to deeper levels of connection than could just not be possible when you're living in such a reactive state. It's pretty darn amazing. I would not change it. I, I'm so grateful for the process and I'm so grateful for the transformation that I've gotten. And on top of that, I am so grateful that I am for a full time, for a living, providing that transformation for other people. Because when you transform yourself like this and you're not shaken by things of life, it opens you up to really live at your full potential. It opens your family members, your children to live up at their full potential. And it really lifts up everyone as a whole, your family, your marriage, your kids and how they're able to perform in school and um, build lives for themselves as they grow up, all of that uplifts just from your own transformation. And I know that because it's completely changed my life and the lives of so many of my clients. So I just wanted to share that because I think that the, the car illustration, um, you know, before to now, you know, when something happened with the car is just like the perfect picture that you can paint to make that real. So I just wanted to share that with you today on this beautiful Tuesday. And if you're wanting your own transformation for you, for your, your teen, because I met work mainly with moms and teens. If you're looking for your own transformation for you or your teen, or both actually, <laughs> then drop me a DM in Messenger, or you can text Moon to 90407. That gets you um, a link to your cell phone directly to my calendar to book a consultation, or you can DM me and ask some more questions and see if it's um, appropriate for you to get on a call and learn more and experience a little bit of coaching for yourself. So I want you to have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your Tuesday, and I will check in with you again a little bit later in the week. Lots of love. Mwah.